Good morning everyone. In this video, we will be discussing the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve is one of the thickest nerves in our body arising from the lumbosacral plexus in the pelvic region. It has the root value ranging from L4 to S3 and it has two components in the same nerve namely the tibial and common peroneal component. It extends from pelvis to the popliteal fossa to be specific the superior angle of the popliteal fossa. Now if you take a look at the pose it extends from the pelvis and it enters the gluteal region below the pyriformis muscle. This is the pyriformis muscle below that it enters the gluteal region. In the gluteal region it lies under cover of the gluteus maximus muscle. It enters the back of thigh at the lower border of the gluteus maximus muscle and it passes through the back of thigh region. As it reaches the popliteal fossa at the superior angle it divides into tibial and common peroneal component. Now coming to the branches of the sciatic nerve it gives articular branches to the hip joint and it gives muscular branches to the hamstring muscles and the muscular branches to the short head of biceps femoris. Now the point to be noted here is all the branches to the hamstring muscles are to the medial side and the branch to the short head of biceps femoris alone comes on the lateral side. With this aspect we consider the lateral side of the sciatic nerve safe and it is the medial side the dangerous side. Coming to the clinical correlation the first thing we are seeing is the sleeping foot. The sleeping foot syndrome is basically there is a temporary compression of the sciatic nerve against the femur at the lower border of the gluteus maximus causing paresthesia of the lower limb. And the next one is pyriformis syndrome where the entrapment of sciatic nerve occurs between the pyriformis muscle because of either hypertrophy or spasm of the pyriformis muscle because it is related above and below to the pyriformis. The next one is sciatic nerve block which is commonly used in anesthesia. Then we have sciatica which is a shooting pain felt along the course of the distribution of the sciatic nerve. It can be due to the compression of the L4 to S3 spinal segments caused by either herniated intervertebral disc or any other conditions. Thank you.